How much are like all the watches combined? Maybe like 300 grand. Oh my you got, God. It's like an addiction. Once you buy one, it just keeps coming. 375. You gotta have at least 20 million dollars in your bank account for 300. You a billionaire? How much is this watch right here? This is about 20. 20K? Yeah. How are you guys students affording Rolexes? Oh, daddy's money, a trust fund, baby. Oh, you see, we didn't even see that. This is GMT Master. They don't produce it anymore. How much is that watch? About 15,000. It's oh, one of my cheaper watches. Rolex watches are some of the most expensive and most exclusive watches in the world with a wait list that takes over a year if you want to purchase one. So I'm going to be walking around all day to the Rolex stores in New York City and going up to these New Yorkers to see exactly what these people do for a living to be able to afford a Rolex. Let's go. We've seen you walk into Rolex. So what do you do for a living? I work in commercial real estate. How much do you make in a year? Between 100 and 300. So big six figures. Yeah. So you have a Rolex. Because we saw you walk into Rolex. Did you buy one today? A couple of ones. No, I, they're not selling anything at the moment. So how many do you have? Uh, I have two so far. How much are they? 13k for the GMT and uh, 12 for the Submariner. Do you have one on right now? I do. Oh, you see, we didn't even see that. This is GMT Master. They don't produce it anymore. And what's some advice for other people wanting to get into what you do? Well, you need to start early and uh, you need to like numbers and money. I'm a real estate attorney and I do real estate finance. So what's like the salary someone can make doing what you do? The salary is going to be like 60 grand a year, 50 grand a year, but then you can really get like much bigger from that, you know? Are you six, seven figures? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. And how many Rolexes do you have? Uh, probably six, <laughs> or, six or seven. Six or seven? Yeah. How much are like all the watches combined? Maybe like 300 grand, 400 grand. 300 grand? Yeah, oh my God. It's like an addiction. Once you buy one, it just keeps coming. So what's your name and what do you do? Sammy, I'm in VIP concierge. Are you pushing seven figures? No, not yet. Close. Close, close. 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 Right, we trying to get like this guy. So did you get a Rolex today? No, I didn't get a Rolex. Waiting list, right? So do you have any Rolexes? Uh, mostly APs and Hublots. Not really into Rolex. What do you think is the best watch to buy right now? A Richard Mueller. Cost will never go down. We'll always keep going up. And what's like the most expensive watch that you bought? Scarface Edition Jacob & Co. watch. Yeah, how much is that? 375. You gotta have at least 20 million dollars in your <laughs> bank account for 300. You a billionaire? No, I'm not a billionaire. No, my cars are rich. I'm not rich. How are these guys buying six-figure watches? If you make it six figures a year, like you gotta sleep outside, you gotta like not eat for a year. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. You got a Rolex? You do got a Rolex. So what do you do for a living? I work in entertainment. What type of entertainment? Movies? Music. You work for a company? Something cooler than that. Could you hit seven figures in your industry? Easily. Easily? Yeah. How much is this watch right here? This is about 20. 20K? Yeah. And how much do you think your watch collection is in total? Close to a mil. So what do you think is the best watch to invest in right now? Is it Rolex? I don't know. I don't really look at it that. If you like a watch, just buy it. I do that with everything, man. I just buy stuff to enjoy it. So what are some advice you give to other people trying to get rich like you? There's no textbook to success. You know what I mean? It comes in all shapes and forms. Work hard, be ambitious, and don't give up on your dreams. Just go for it. He said he works for a really famous person. I'm not going to expose who it is. If you guys could guess, it's the something. It's like, what's the lyric? How does it go? It's like, ooh, um, you know what I'm saying? Blinded, you know, I, I, you guys got to figure it out. Do you guys own a Rolex? Just did. You just got the Rolex? Yes, sir. How much is it? 15 grand or something. And which one is this? Um, I have no idea. He got it for me. So what do you do? I'm a student. Student? What do you do? I'm a student. Student? Yep. How are you guys students affording Rolexes? Uh, daddy's money. A trust fund, baby. <laughs> nah, tell me for real what no. you guys do. <laughs> Hedge fund. You guys go to school? Like college? Yeah, I dropped out. You went to school? Um, yeah. Uh, I play airplanes. How do you get started with that? You have to just go through school? That's the only way to get into that industry? First, you gotta do a uh, four-year college for your bachelor's, and then you could also do uh, your flight training along the way. Do you think Rolex is a good investment? Watches are like uh, the best investment that you can make. That's how crazy New York is, bro. Like, this guy just said he knows Tristan Jazz. I know you guys know who that is. Like, we could connect with him now just because the guy knows Tristan Jazz. You know what I'm saying? You guys just gotta put yourself out there and network with people. You guys get wherever you want in life. So what do you guys do for a living? We're uh, real estate brokers. So it would be six, seven figures, close? God. Seven, depending on <laughs> yeah. the year, yeah. After next Monday, yeah. seven. So do you guys have any Rolexes? Yes. How many? Yeah. One and then? I love Rolex as well, but I'm AP guy. And... AP guy? Yeah. Why AP? Because he got it for me. <laughs> Who's this guy? What Rolex do you have? They just Jubilee with a champagne 40 millimeter. How much is that watch? About 15,000. Oh, it's one of my cheaper watches. One of the cheaper? Oh, so what's the most expensive one you got then? It's a very rare model. It's pretty much priceless. Priceless. So probably six figures? Yes. So how would you guys give me advice to get as rich as you guys right now? Focus on being rich inside. If you're not happy on the inside, then none of that other stuff matters. So what do you do for a living? I am a student. You have a Rolex? Yes. Did you buy one today or? No, I just got it cleaned. Oh, you got it cleaned. So how'd you get this one? My dad gave it to me. He's in real estate. Oyster Perpetual Datejust. And how much do you think that is? I have no idea. Do you think Rolex is a good investment? I think it is because like my dad, like he won't buy us bags, but like 
watches, he's like, it's a timepiece. So what's advice for people trying to get a Rolex? Get a rich dad? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I work hard. Yeah. Like, I'm in school, I'm starting a company myself. Alcohol company. Alcohol company? Yeah, mezcal. Entre nos mezcal. Watch really? Out. Okay, yeah. we're gonna be watching out for that. That's a hard industry. So you got a Rolex? This is right here. Oh my, you have it. How much is that watch? This one is uh, about $80. So how, how does somebody get an $80 watch like you? You work hard for your money. You cannot spend it wisely. We're going to get like you one day. What do you do for a living? I'm a purchaser. Purchaser of what? For electronic. And what about you? I'm a hotel manager. So what's like the range of salary someone can make doing what you guys do? Between 100 to 200,000 K. Okay. And what about you? Same. Do you guys have any Rolexes? Yes, sure. How many? Three. Three. And how many do you have? One. Okay. How much were they in total? So you pay about 10,000 to 15,000 euros. So around like 30, 45 yes. in total? In total, yes. And how much is your Rolex? 15. Okay. And what's some advice you would give to people trying to get Rolexes like you guys, trying to be rich like you? Earn money and then save money and, and then, uh, go on the waiting list. So yeah, then, then you can enjoy your time to wait. Hey, I'm Christina Kremitas, and I'm a real estate agent in New York City. What's like a salary that they could expect to make? Could it be six, seven? Could you push the seven figures? Yeah, you can absolutely make seven figures, yeah. So which Rolex do you have? I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> no, I bought my husband a Breitling for Christmas last year, but I'm not like the biggest watch person. And what do you think about Rolex? Do you think it's a good investment for people? Yeah, it's definitely a good investment. It goes up in value for sure. It's one of the well-known brands, and it's always going to hold its value, I think. What watch is this? This is a, uh, it's a Tudor Royal. This one's about 2500 Well, that's a lot. So what do you do for a living? Because we see you got the good Louis V. Shea's, very good outfit, good jewelry. So I'm a multidisciplinary artist, so I do, uh, you know, film photography, photographs, and uh, fine art paintings. So why do you think the appeal is so big with Rolex? For myself, I like to keep a minimal number of things in my life. Not too much clutter, not too much crap everywhere. But the things I like, I want to have things that have uh, lasting quality. How important is it to have a watch or like a really good watch? Do you think it helps with like meeting business people? I don't like to think of things in terms of like showing off, but you do want to show like, you know, you got a little style, have a little fun with life. My name is Brendan. I work in construction management. I'm Connor and I manage a restaurant in Canada. Like what's the range that someone can make that wants to do what you do? 150 to 200 Canadian. So you're on, you're on the six figure level. Yep. And what about you for salary? You seem like the low key guy. Anywhere from like 55 to 75. Do you guys have any Rolexes? I have one. What about you? Not yet. Not yet. He's coming for the first one. Yeah. How much is yours? Probably like 12. 12, 12 ish? Yeah. So what's advice that you guys would give to other people that want to get Rolexes like you guys? When you're interested in buying something expensive like that, you want to make sure what you're buying is going to hold its value and going to be a good investment. Guys, we're this close to hitting 100K. If you guys want to follow us on our journey and watch more of these What Do People Do For A Living videos, subscribe down below.